Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakodash, double honors to the apostles, bishops, elders, and teachers of Great Millstone, and the like minded men who may not be directly part of Great Millstone but are following the same doctrine. As I'm not directly part of Great Millstone, but I do follow the doctrine given to the apostles, from Apostle Taha, on down from their teachers at One West. Um, initially, through the spirit of Yahweh, Shem Yashai, Elder Abba Bibbins, who is Elijah, in the reincarnation and the regeneration. Yeah, um, salutations to the elect men, women, and children of the Ba'af Dawada, the house of David, who are predestined to be saved in these last days. Well, surely in these last days, um, as I usually do start, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, meaning He is, He exists, He to be, in the Paleo Hebrew, Ashwan Kadash. Um, true name of his only begotten son, our Savior is Yahweh Shai, meaning he saved his salvation, and um, Yahweh Shai will return at that time appointed, which is soon. <laughs> but, you know, um, the prophets are popping up like popcorn to save the elect of the nation of Yasharal, the nation of Israel, and establish his kingdom upon the face of the earth, a righteous kingdom, which will. Um, be joint is the elect will uh, the, initially the elect 144,000 and the great multitude the elect and the two thirds of the nation of Israel will be born back into um, um, the nation, all righteous, and the other nations, the nations of the Gentiles from Esau, Edom on down will be captives, yeah, and ser um, serve for a thousand years um, the nation of Yasharala and therefore after be subject, except for the nation of Edom, which will be done away with. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen. Yahweh yeah. Shai will rule them with a rod of iron, as the scriptures scriptures say. Um, so today is, is going to be a war update. Um, as we know, the third world will not come in its full effect up until that point, the MOTB, which is Revelation 13th chapter, 16th, 17th verse, he calls up all, all who are small and great, rich or poor, to receive a mark in the right hand or in the forehead. So that he would receive the mark, might um, like a, not be able to buy or sell without that mark, paraphrasing so like for that. Um, so it's a physical mark. It is a physical mark, that, uh, the karagma. Um, that will be implanted and made mandatory at that time appointed again, which is <laughs> soon. All the infrastructure is here, laid up and ready to go. All right. So, like I said, the third, like the scripture says, so like the third woe will not um, occur occur in its full effect, as in the nukes will not be flying, the ICBMs, which is intercontinental ballistic missiles, will not be flying. Um, until the time of the MOTB being made mandatory. And as soon as that happens, this place, specifically Babylon the Great, which is America, is um, going to be destroyed within a short space of time. Yeah. Babylon the Great, which is America, also known as Sodom and Egypt, Revelation 8 chapter, sorry, Revelation 11 chapter 8 verse. Um, will be a sacrifice basically um isaiah 34 goes into that isaiah 13 you know isaiah um jeremiah 49 50 51 revelation 19 you know, revelation 18 and all over the scriptures america is going to be destroyed obviously it's not called america in the scriptures it's called babylon the great but nineveh um egypt you know um egypt and sodom many other names yeah code names and those code names can only be revealed to you by the prophets, which is possible to horn down the like minded men. They are the true prophets, true leaders of um, Israel today. They are. So let me um, go into the first scripture, which is Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. I mean, we know these scriptures, we know probably where I'm going to go. So it's just, um, it is what it is, man. <laughs> we're in that time, you know, we're going to repeat a lot. So just be, you know, that's it, suck it up. You know, get these scriptures in your mind and um, through the Spirit because the time of trouble is at hand. 
um, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Is this word season? Season. A set time, appointed time. <laughs> that reminds me of Habakkuk, yeah? yeah? Um, Habakkuk, second chapter, third verse. A vision set for an appointed time and the end itself speak. And that's what it is. The prophets from Apostle the Horan Down have said that, you know, um, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus 4, second, second edges 4 and 37, there's an appointed time for everything. Yeah. So what we need, what we're looking at now is wars and rumors of wars. Um, um, we're in that time. Yeah. We're in a time of the infrastructure of the CBDC. Um, complete, it's here already. You know, we've got one palm pay by um, Amazon. Various other stores in England, Audi, um, they're not accepting cash, which is all set up for the MOTB um, to be um, introduced and then made mandatory. It's all a gradualism, you see. We jump down to eight, a bit straight to the point here. A time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Yeah, and we're in that time of war. Right now we're here. I'm um, going to go to Isaiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 51, 46. 51, 46. Got it in my mind. I haven't really written our scriptures. I've got, got three scriptures in my mind through the Spirit. So. Past it. 46. Here we are. Huh. Start from 45. My people go ye out of the midst of her uh, spiritually and the following of the ways of Babylon, yeah? Simple as, which is America. You know, um, repent daily, pray daily. Simple as that. That's what we've got to do. And um, pray to Yahweh by Shemir that, that um, we'll be found um, worthy of salvation. You know, if we're part of the elect, that's what we do as the hopeful elect. Deliver ye man, every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. Yahabash oh, Mashai. Unless, unless your heart faint and you, and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year, and after that in another year shall come a rumor. And violence in the land, ruler against ruler. So this is where we're at. You know, we've seen these rumors of wars, as um, Yahabash says in Matthew. 24th chapter, yeah, um, but uh, uh, eventually those rumours will become full-blown third world, yeah. Right now we're seeing a lot going on in um, the continent of Ham, which is Africa, um, named after Leo Scipio Africanus, um, with the, uh, the Niger, um, that basically saying to France, get out. <laughs> You know what I mean? So um, I'm going to bring a little article up on that. Basically, we've seen proxy wars all over the place. So again, let me start with Matthew 24. One of my favorite scriptures here. Straight to the point. Words are written in red. So these are words of Yahweh Shai. Um, straight to the point. Uh, Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Are we not seeing that this day? Yeah, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. No. <laughs> so prepare yourself, man. It ain't gonna be easy. You know, the post, um, the apostles are going into intermittent fasting, which is um yeah, I, I listened and uh, it is, it is, it's a good skill. Yeah, it's good skill. And you do feel a lot better. So that's a bit of a side note. You do feel a lot better. You know, you, either you do um, eight, 18, 6, you know, don't eat for 18, eat for 6. So between whatever, 12 and 6, um, you eat um, a, lot, a lot certain times for you to eat. Between 6 and 12, you don't eat, you know. You drink your water, your spring water, you drink, you know, your teas. Um, where am I now? Where am I now? I'm going to play this video actually.
wars and rumors of wars. So we've got here, let's start with um, this first actually. No, I'll go to this one first. So basically jockeying for position um, in, in all the resources, the world's resources are, are in, in the land of Ham, which is Africa, yeah? And especially uranium in Nigeria. Yeah, the, the military, they ousted a, um, the, the Western back leaders. And the people are saying, yo, get out. We don't want you no more. Again, proxy wars, rumors of wars. You know, proxy wars, rumors of wars, we see this. Cause ripples in Washington, I mean, the regional power play, you see? It's all about the resources. But Yahweh Bashmi Asha is bringing these nations, man. He's bringing them, gathering the nations. He really is. I'm gonna get that. Why is Niger? Why Niger is important for US? This is a key partner of Washington fight against. No, it's about resources, about uranium, about gold, specifically in Niger. US occupies it. Prove the American drones to target militants. March 2023, Antony Blinken announced a new humanitarian aid. Basically, we give you this, you give us that. You know, we give you, you know, economic hitman, we give you um, so-called aid, you give us all your resources. Then um, the Niger people and um, saying, no, we don't want you no more. We don't want France, we don't want the US. And this is all work of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. You know, in, in, Putin's in there now. We've got um, Ezekiel 38 at play on many, many levels. You can see it, it um, being a guard onto them, the Medes, you know, being a guard onto them. So I'm gonna put this in the description box. But this is it as well. Look, check this one out. You know, preparing war. Everybody's preparing war, man. Look, next certain in a certain amount of time, you're gonna have um um the, the issue with with Taiwan and um and China. You've got the White House uh, basically looking to seek from Congress. To arm Taiwan. Financial Times reported that the Biden administration will make the request later this month. Approved, it would mark Taiwan's first arms aid via foreign military financing scheme. Foreign military financing scheme is a US mechanism aimed at providing grants and loans to foreign militaries. Look. <laughs> That's Joel all over. It it helps foreign militaries buy US weapons and essentially funded by American taxpayers. You get the gist. If you want to watch it, Lord's will, I'm gonna put this in the description box. So remember to do that. Go back to the scriptures and end it here. Keep it short and simple. Just an update and we are going to Joel. The three point verse nine. Ooh. I'm going to start, yeah, actually. Ooh. So this is going to be the point. This is what's going to happen. It's going to happen in the Middle East, eventually, yeah? The least of the flock shall draw them out as well. You know, we've got Iran and, um, um, sorry, Iran and uh, the State of Israel. But behold, in those days, this is Joel 3 and 1. The nations will be judged. That's the headline there. <laughs> well, behold, in those days and in that time will I... Sh 
when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and um, Jerusalem. That's the um, northern, southern and the northern kingdom coming back together again, specifically the elect. Yahweh Shai raising the spirits up in us to, to know who we are. Simple, yeah. And eventually we'll gather the na gatherers yeah, of the elect. Um, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Lord's judgment, and will plead with them there for my people. Basically, that word plead goes into the word judge. Yeah, for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. That's what it's about, the controversy of Zion. Yeah, you know, going for this word plead. Okay. And we'll plead. But to judge, to govern, to vindicate, to punish. Yeah, the nation's gonna be punished. Um, wait a second. <clears throat> Uh, uh. Yeah. Give me one second. Oh dear. Make sure I get it correct. Sharp uh. Yeah. Sharp uh. Uh, pass, uh, okay. We jump down to nine. Um, Joel three and nine. Procre proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Yeah. Oh. Assemble yourselves and come ye all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about hither cause, my, cause, thy, cause thy mighty ones to come down to the Lord. Wow. So basically, um, what's happening is right now as we speak, the Lord is gathering them together, the Gentile nations, specifically Esau, Edom and all the allies on the left and um, from the west to the east. Moab, they're all getting ready to the fight. They're putting the money into um, the armories, putting the money into weapons. You know, obviously they're still doing um, trade, but a lot of the... Um, a nation's GDP is going towards war, yeah, ready for this third woe. So I'm going to end it with that. Relation 11, 14. The second woe is past. Behold, the third woe cometh quickly. This is where we're at. We're at the doors of the Third World War. But now we're basically, technically, there. They're just got a fighting it through proxies right now. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so there we are. Like I said, remember, as the apostles say, the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast, needs to be made mandatory before this third world war kicks off in earnest before the nukes fly the beginning of sorrows as Yahweh Shai says with that I'm going to say Shalom Lord's will this is edifying to the elect from the hopeful elect Kwam Yasharala and Abad Babar